so hey guys uh, welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we are going to cover absolute magnitude distance modulus luminosity and radiant flux so let's uh, discuss what is absolute magnitude so the absolute magnitude which is denoted by m of an astronomical object is defined as its apparent magnitude if it were at a distance of 10 parsec from us you can easily understand this from this figure let's say we want to calculate the absolute magnitude of these stars then we arbitrarily bring this star to, to a distance of 10 parsec and then we'll measure its apparent magnitude and that apparent magnitude will be its absolute magnitude also if you want to calculate the apparent magnitude of these stars then we again arbitrarily place this star at a distance of 10 parsec and we will measure the apparent magnitude of these stars and this apparent magnitude will be its absolute magnitude. So now let's discuss about distance modulus. So here we consider two stars, star S1 and S2, where M is the apparent magnitude of the star S1 and BM is the brightness of the star S1 and it is situated as a distance of D. And similarly for the star S2, M1, BM and D be the corresponding quantities. So we have the relation which we derived in the earlier class and if you want to know this then you can find that video from the uh, i button. So we have this relation connecting brightness of a star and its apparent magnitude. So we get the relation as bm by b suffix small m by bm that is the brightness of the star s1 and the divided by brightness of the star m equal to 10 raised to the power 0 0.4 m minus n. And also we know that the brightness of a star is inversely proportional to the square of its distance. So we can write Bm by B capital M equal to D square by D square. Capital D square by small D square which is equal to 10 raised to the power 0 0.4 M minus M. So we take a log, a log on both sides and get the equation as 2 log D minus log small D equal to 0 0.4 M minus M log 10. And upon simplifying we get small m minus capital M equal to 5 log d minus log capital D. So we, we are now going to replace this uh, d that is the distance of the tar, uh, star s2 by, with 10 parsec. Then by definition f is the absolute magnitude. So the relation the above relation becomes m minus m equal to small m minus capital M equal to 5 log d minus 5. So this is the fundamental relation between apparent magnitude m and absolute magnitude capital m and the distance d of a star so this really this is the relation basically connecting the apparent magnitude of a star and absolute magnitude of a star and the distance also the quantity m minus capital m that is uh, apparent magnitude minus absolute magnitude depends only on the distance d and is called distance modulus so if we somehow get this equation we can easily calculate their distance we, we can easily calculate the distance of this star from us if we know its apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude so now we we'll, now we are going to discuss what is luminosity so luminosity of a star is a measure of total amount of energy that is radiated from its surface in one second that is in one second how much amount of energy a star radiates is known as its luminosity so it is usually expressed in terms of luminosity of the sun and is measured in by absolute polarimetric magnitude of a star so we may usually express the luminosity of uh, m other stars in terms of the luminosity of our sun and also this is measured by the absolute polarimetric magnitude of the star so it is usually expressed in terms of luminosity of the sun and is measured in by absolute polarimetric magnitude of the star that is, we usually express the luminosity of other stars in terms of the luminosity of our sun. So, let us suppose ki m suffix ball equal to absolute volumetric magnitude of the star, where l equal to luminosity of the star, and m phi ball equal to absolute volumetric magnitude of our sun, and l phi equal to luminosity of our sun. Then we have the equation that is. Uh, absolute volumetric equation absolute volumetric magnitude of a star minus absolute volumetric uh, magnitude of our sun equal to 2.5 log 
luminosity of our sun by luminosity of the star so on simplifying we get l2 by l1 equal to 100 raised to the power m1 minus m2 by 5 where l2 is the luminosity of a star say s2 and s1 is the luminosity of a star say s1 equal uh, and m1 is the absolute magnitude of a star say s1 and m2 is the absolute magnitude of a star say s2 so this is the relation connecting the luminosities of two stars with their absolute magnitude so with the knowledge of absolute magnitudes we can calculate the luminosity of a star from this relation so this is for today's video we will cover the remaining syllabus in the upcoming session thank you